Daco eliminated NL. Nuki eliminated Justin Wong. Ferloren eliminated Little, Little Evil. Alucard eliminated Yukadon. Wow. Gamer B eliminated Ray Ray. Filipino Champ eliminated Ramasama. And then I just watched PG F Champ versus DS Stupendous, and F Champ beat Stupendous wow. to eliminate him. So. F Champ mm. just qualified for top 16. And that's important for him because he needs to stay high in the global boards for oh, XSK boy. Samurai to uh -huh. stay in. All right, well, again, we move on in winner's side. Now it's Li Liquid Knuckle Dew versus BSD. Zagu yeah, Mahara, two of the strongest players in the world, in my opinion. And Knuckle Dew sent uh, NL to losers, and NL won the first game decisively. Okay. And then Knuckle Dew said, you know what, I'll stick with Guile. And he figured it out, and he was able to take the next two games over NL. So, so far, I love this range that Daigo wants to play at, at that stand short range. Okay, uh -huh. he's being pushed out a little bit now, but that was really causing a lot of havoc for Liquid Knuckle 2. Too oh. far for his big stuff, so just gets yeah. that. And there you see where Guile has that advantage over Ooh, Oh, hold on! Wow. Just went for it. Very rarely see Knuckle 2 go for raw Crouch Roundhouse like that. Anti-air was there. Liquid Knuckle 2. Yeah, you see this range? I love this. That's such a strong spot. But then Dew post, uh, pushes that go out. Really? <laughs> just goes up for the throw. I love it. Oh, is that In time? time no. No, it is not. But you know what? Knuckle Dew is fine with that. Throws right. the EX to clear up again. Another one. And now is able to chase. Nice tech, but still has the block it. Oh, the sweep was right in his face. Daigo takes it after all. Wow. At what point did it feel like Daigo was dominating that round that he only had that much life left to drain? Look, um, I said this on Twitter earlier. I feel like Daigo wins a lot in like a way that is mysterious to me. Like, <laughs> right? he, yeah, I always, not always, oftentimes I feel like he's out of it in terms of the control of the round and it's just not, a, that's not real. Like I'm, I'm wrong, clearly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But there's something that Daigo's doing that I don't know what it is. Right now, clearly he's playing actively. But a lot of the time, he's just playing very patiently, not doing a whole lot, and he's always in it. Yeah, it's almost like his fireball damage really adds up. Yeah. And, you know, he's talked about that before, how he tried the offensive Ryu. Yes. He's tried the defensive Ryu, and he felt like the defensive Ryu was the smart choice, and it felt like he had more success with it. So that's definitely what he's going with these days. Oh, this is a classic battle right now. This looks like any Guile versus Ryu match that's ever happened yeah, in know. any game, right? Like. The, the Ryu trying to get in. Guile's trying to play it defensively. Jump in every once in a while from Guile. Ooh, you have to do it. To kill. Okay. He does get him with the overhead. Wow. Like this could be taking place in Super Turbo, right? Fireball, fireball. <laughs> Ryu tries to get in. Every once in a while, Guile jumps, and when he does, he does a yep. lot of damage. Oh, oh. wow. The patience here. Daigo guess takes advantage. Not what this match looked like in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, well, Let's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's also like four other guys jumping in and doing stuff, so. Okay, Tex. OS. It's always funny how the fireball Here's clash. Daigo! The fireball clash sound effect is the same as the crush counter sound effect. It's really weird. Wow, I never noticed that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No wake up flash kicks from Do and Daigo as a result is pressuring, but the walk up grab and now it's the range that Do wants. Will he block some? Oh no, he just gets the B skill anyway, of course you can do that. Nice! Got a sweep right Daigo, over the back. So face. dangerous right now. Ooh. I love that Knuckle oh. just throws one or two. Oh! He goes in for that grab! Is it enough? It's not. That's Ooh, blocked the punish. And Daigo is going to take the game. What a fantastic game on both players' sides. The Tatsu into the super and win. It's madness. Oh, Holy crap. What defense. Again, I love this range that Daigo plays a lot of in this matchup. The walk up, stand short range right there. That's where he wants to be. It, it feels. But just kind of hard for him to get there. Guile has a lot of control. Nice trade. Again, Guile, if he trades with that Crouch Fierce against a jumping attack, he's always going to be happy with that as long as he can maintain a life lead and that distance. Especially if he's trading a Fierce with Ryu's Jump Light Kick. Oh, yes, Jump Short does the trick. And looking for the crush was Daigo. He gets the pressure now into the corner. Wow, well, battle well. from Knuckle do work. Yeah, battled quite well. Ooh! Not a counter hit, so he's not going to be able to combo, but he's going to be able to dash up and complete the combo there, yes. 
off of the back fist crush counter. Knuckle Dude playing so strong. I mean, were it not for just one successful block on low high, right? Knuckle Dude would have uh, taken that first game and been at match point. Now. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Daigo trying to bulldog his way through. Not many fireballs. Just trying to move forward. Buttons from Daigo all of a sudden scoring two hits. Again, we're seeing this so much more from yes. from Street Fighter V now. These battles of singular hits as opposed to these big old combo vortex Look situations. Look at this movement. Daigo, now unfortunately for Dew, he's put out a couple of unsafe sweeps. That was a big part of that damage in corner control, but even on top of that, Daigo had great pressure. All right, almost no V-Trigger. Oh, but that was out of the air, it looked mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I'm sure it was jump back OS. Oh, and a trade. So Daigo Umahara now at match point himself. Final round. Fight. Yeah, he walks forward really well. Look at this bulldog. Stand short again. Buffers it right in the fireball. Yes, oh, confirm. There it is. Gonna put a big life lead up on the board for himself. Now Dude's got a battle. Trying to bait out something from Daigo, but beautiful jump back on. That was like the first parry we've seen from Daigo. Got him! And close enough. Wow, for that flash kick. He went for that instead of the Sonic Boom. I've right. definitely seen that from him a couple of times. He knows his character. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Antire was there. Willing to take that trade. And just like that, Dude's taking advantage and the damage on the fireballs. He moves so far forward. Oh, but beautiful walk under from Daigo to put Knuckle Dew into the corner. Oh, oh. trying to bait it out again, but Daigo going Daigo, with crouching medium. He has instead. a life lead. Okay, now what's the setup for Dew? I love that. Advantage. That was such an awesome setup. Yes. Into Alpha what? Style. Where does he get to go? All oh, that defense, all oh, that patience on Daigo's side. Oh, and then just gets hit. It's going to be there anyway. Oh, he went for the uppercut. Third game coming up now, one to one. Guile Ryu is like the greatest matchup. You know, like, you know, I, you, you know, I agree. You yeah, know, we've uh, always said this, right? This fight is like in street every game. fighter. Mm -hmm. It's street fighter. Mm -hmm. It's these two guys, two of the perfect character designs. Agreed. And when they get pit up against each other, it's just such a battle of wits between these two characters. So there has been a style change a bit from Guile. Dude's bringing out a lot more in the way of view reversal. <laughs> oh man, I love the, the V skill and stuff that they gave the Guile in this game. It's just oh, the here jump. We go. He keeps it up and oh. goes for the reset. I like the idea, but yeah. very smart sweep timing. But he went for the upside down kick. Had he done it a little earlier, he actually would have probably beaten Daigo. Oh. Oh, the block is there, and again, the punish. He hasn't yet gone for crouching medium, crouchy medium kick. Oh. And Daigo, the second one, he's looking for the... Oh, oh wow. trigger! He had the trigger, yeah, he had the trigger, ready to go. Could have made it safe. Now it's match point, Knuckle Dew. What's Daigo's response? What will he do about the view reversals knocking him down? Wow! First time. First time, yeah, and then he gets a meaty throw. Oh, just a little too far for the cross-up light. Yeah, Daigo's having trouble finding his way around this because yes. that, this is what Guile does to Ryu now because the Sonic Blade, two hits, causes so much problems. Oh, Knuckle Dude tried to walk him oh, no. Throw, but a miss Tatsu. Punish. And yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, Daigo now got to move in. This is a chance for him. He has all the resources he needs. The Ooh, there's Guile's terrible throw range, but Ryu missed oh, as in well. There. What's Daigo's response going to be? Can he move forward back into that range where there was a lot oh, of success? Oh, boy, here we go. And wake up buttons from Knuckle Dude. He's not scared. No more super for Daigo now. Oh, oh he the it big out again. bet! The big bet from Daigo. Knuckle Dew waited for it. He sends Daigo to losers, regardless of who won that match. I just want to give a high five to both players because that was really one of my favorite matches Beautiful. in Street Fighter V so far. The spacing, the adaptation, all those little minutia. It's so good. Just it's amazing. So good. Yeah. Look, look at this defense from Daigo. Gets out of there. Yeah, his defense was great that whole time. There were so many situations where Guile walked toward and had pressure for himself. And then that, the blocks into the Tatsu, into the Super. Daigo Umahara bringing that first game back. And shout outs to Knuckle Dew for not being shaken off of that one right. because he just kept his game going. Right. Played here and Chase, look at that. Look what at he this. Can do look with at this. And he had the punish even. Oh, and then he just came out with it. He just. That probably wasn't supposed to be crouch medium in the uppercut. Maybe it was just supposed to be raw uppercut. Right. But, uh, it, well, I mean, same it, result. It right? Yeah, it, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. 
And there, you see the important trade, and then he gets the uppercut. Once again, Knuckle Dew advances on in the winner's bracket. Wow.